Cycling puts you in the moment to be on two wheels, being outside. That's an active lifestyle for me. And then a turn of events changed that. When I got cancer, I was 46. My diagnosis was a, a day of sadness. Got an email that I had multiple myeloma and I had to Google it to find out I had cancer. Ever since I began training in cancer, it was poison the tumor. You had to use chemotherapy. What we found with immunotherapy was a very different approach for cell therapy of cancer. I went through five failed lines of therapy. Eventually they stopped working and that's when we went to CAR-T. I was patient number one at Stanford. They extract your T cells from your body, modify those T cells in such a way that they became like heat-seeking missiles. They swam into my bone marrow and started eating. The cells are genetically modified so that they have in them an antibody. Now it can specifically attack cancer cells using the same machinery that T cells have naturally to kill a virally infected cell. I was in the hospital 21 days. Lisa had to carry me. I saw you at your lowest, right? And I needed to buck up and, and be there for you in those times. My body started to build. I looked at that bike and I said, I'm gonna ride you. I'm gonna ride you. I climbed up on that bike and I clipped in this leg and I clipped in this foot and I pulled around one time. And I pulled two times and then I did four. Since then I've gone 10,000 miles on the bike. Within a year, that car T had done complete remission. <laughs> we never had a living drug before. And that's what we have with CAR T cells. 14 years ago, I was diagnosed. I thought I was seeing my last of my natural wonders. And here we are, it's incredible. We're at the beginning of CAR-T cell therapy. I can't wait to see what happens in the next coming years. We have a reason to dance every day, and we pretty much do. And this isn't the end of it, it's the beginning of it. 